Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm the Epid Jolson, and today I have week number three of season number two of the IBA. We're going up against Troy and his Boca Radon Radicates. Be sure to check him out down below in the description. His link will be down there. So, I'm some support, but we're both coming to this match with a one and one record. I believe uh, he lost to Reckless Bat, the, pe the person who we beat in week number one. And uh, we lost to Flame Horizon last week, pretty much because we didn't have Thunderbolt on our Helio list, which really sucked, but uh, we have Thunderbolt this week, which is great. We also have HP Ice, but. Uh, I'll explain the entire team right now. Now, since it brings up pretty standard uh, webs offense, we have Lee Vanny lead right here. Um, obviously, Focus Sash with the uh, sticky web. We have uh, Magic Coat in case we want to bounce back his webs. And then uh, just Leaf Blade, uh, kind of Leaf Blade, um, Neck Scissor kind of thing, just for coverage. We have Scarf Kiram. I figured that uh, uh, Vikavolt had a really good matchup. He could bring some kind of like agility variant with uh, Z Flash Cannon. Flash Cannon hits Deontay, Z Flash Cannon Oko's my uh, Kiram Black. And then uh, Thunderbolt and Bug Buzz could uh, clean up everything else. So that was uh, definitely a scary option. So I decided to bring Scarf Kiram with enough speed to outspeed the, uh, this man right here. Um, it also outspeeds uh, the Gardevoir, which is great after it Mega Evolves and the Terrakion, assuming the Terrakion is not Scarf. We have uh, Mega Deontay right here with a gr it's a great response to the Smeargle if it's already Mega Evolved because it has the Magic Bounce. So I kind of expected him to bring something like Flash Cannon or Smart Strike. So I figured Lee Vanny would be the better lead against Smeargle, not my Deontay. And then uh, just uh, Wall Breakers in my sweeper right here Life Orb Manshell, Life Orb Heliolisk, and Dragon Nanticator. So let's go ahead and get into it. He ends up leading off the Smeargle as a lead off with Lee Vanny. Both of us would just want to get, up our, get our webs up at this point. But I do carry the Magic Coat so I can bounce his webs back. Now, the only problem with this is his sticky web has more power points than my magic coat, so eventually I will run out of magic coat. So I know I have to attack eventually, so uh, we'll go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. I start to spam magic coat, just knowing that he's going to continue spamming webs, and he's just going to continue spamming webs here. I believe it happens one more time. Uh, yeah, I go for magic coat right here. He bounces the webs back. Now right here, I actually get this turn right. And I go for Leaf Blade on the turn he decides to spin, which is great because I break his sash and now I can knock him out freely if I want to. So he's forced out here because he can't get up webs because I'll just magic coat again, as you guys will see. So um, I can get up my webs here pretty safely. I didn't expect it to be Scarf uh, Marowak, and I don't even know if that outspeeds Marowak. is pretty slow, but uh, he has Shadow Bone, which is only going to 2 it KO, not even knock me out. I can get some damage on this thing, definitely put it into range of my Gator, and he's going to uh, knock me out with the next Shadow Bone, which is totally, totally fine. I can bring out my Gator right here, start to Dragon Dance up. Now, I probably could have just clean swept with Gator right here, but I really don't want to risk a crit Shadow Bone because that would have just set me back entirely. So I decided to just take my kill, which is great, and I figured um, even if I did Dragon Dance up again, there's so many ways my sweep could get stopped. It could be like, um, uh... Uh, I forgot the, what the water reducing berry is, but uh, Terrakion could that could have that. The Empoleon could have uh, Shika Berry, so um, those are all potentials, but he has to go out into the Empoleon right here. So it's definitely Screaming Shika, but my play is Earthquake every time. It's not Shika, but it does take it just fine, and he's going to be able to roar me out right here. Which sucks, because I would have just clean swept with my Gator right there, but it's alright. Uh, the reason I went for Ice Beam right here on this thing is because I don't want a, uh, the Weak Volt getting a free agility off, because then I would just lose the game right then and there, so... So I have to go for Flash Cannon, just making sure that the, uh, the Vehicle Vault has to attack me if it wants to come out. Nothing else can really come out. I was going to bring a sub Kiram, but then Vika Vault was a huge threat and uh, Gardevoir can just uh, break through my sub with the Hyper Voice. So um, I'm just going to Ice Beam here. It's, as I said at the beginning, it's an easy 2 hit KO. And he's just going to knock me out with the Bug Buzz, uh, just expecting the Scarf. And I can just go out into my Deontay pretty safely and just knock him out with the Power Gem. Uh, no point in uh, risking the Diamond Storm miss. It's just going to bring out Gardevoir right here. And I saw that um, if I get off any damage on this thing, my Miancha kind of just wins at this point. And even if it doesn't, my Heliolisk can just surf the uh, Terrakion if it does happen to be Choice Scar. So, just have to go for the Moon Blast and put this thing into range of my uh, Miancha's Life Orb Poison Jab. I'm just going to crit the Hyper Voice and knock me out. Not sure if it mattered, but I can easily bring out Miancha right here. Uh, poison Jab this thing, knock it out. And uh, he sees that we are in Life Orb, so if he has Scarf Terrakion, he will outspeed us. But he was Smeargle first, which means I'm pretty sure we have the game here. Assuming he uh, connects a high jump, uh, assuming we connect a high jump kick, or he has Protect, but uh, we do manage to connect that high jump kick. He's not Scarf, he's not Sash, so that's going to be the game. I guess the only way he could have pulled it back right at the end there was if he, um, if we missed a high jump kick and then he Rock Polished. But even if he did, I'm not sure if... Uh, Without a boost, uh, Terrakion knocks out my Feraligator or not. We didn't have the Aqua Jet, but uh, that's besides the point. Uh, that's going to be a 3-0 victory for us. So luckily we move on to 2-1 and one rather than 1-2. Uh, and, and we have a pretty decent plus 4 differential right now, so that's pretty nice. 
Uh, once again, be sure to tr check out Troy down below in the description. Be sure to subscribe to us if you want to follow the Agrons uh, through the rest of the IBA, as well as the WPL playoffs, which I believe are starting in one or two weeks. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.